Hey, shalom, my name is Rukham Makapash in Jimenez London. Giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Rukha Chadash. I'm going to give the words unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and shalom, my name to the whole full elect, pushing his truth and all sincerity. Okay, back with another short video. Uh, got this ark, we're here. Um, I guess a source from CNN. And, um, you know, I'm going to entitle this one um, uh, Esau likes to um, bury his, his wicked past, man. But all things, you know, all truth shall be revealed in it. And, you know, we know through the scriptures that Esau is the damn devil. The so-called white man is Esau, right? And he's the devil, right? And he's going to pay for all these crimes, man, that have been put in the dark, that have been buried. Okay? But you got here in this article, it says, Remains of 215 indigenous children found near school in Canada. Right, this is Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau reflected on the dark and shameful chapter in the country's history after the remains of 215 children were found buried on the grounds of Camp Loops India Residential School in British Columbia. The school was operated by the Catholic Church until the late 1960s and closed permanently in 1978. All right. <clears throat> Showing you, man, like I said, he saw like to bury his, his wicked past. He, he wants that, like, nothing. <laughs> nothing went on that he ain't done no wickedness in the earth man and, and he, he'd rather keep it that way but you know he still can't keep these things buried these things are gonna gonna um come up man and and prove the scriptures right that you are the devil man okay and you can't say that you know that you ain't done this wickedness because you want people to forget okay you don't you don't, you don't want people to know how wicked you are all right, but the Most High knows, and the Most High ain't forgetting, because these, you know, these, uh, these, um, these children, okay, these indigenous children aren't just any children, okay, they're they're the Most Highest children, okay, these are children of the twelve tribes of Israel, more specifically, you know, being Gad, you know, they aren't just any any children, man, you know. Um, let's read some of this. It says, um, the gruesome discovery took decades and for some survivors of the Kamloops Indian Residential School in Canada, the confirmation that children as young as three were buried on school grounds crystallizes the sorrow that they had carried all their lives. You know, let's say you're going to, you went over to the Americas acting like, you know, you, 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 you uh, well, you make this, 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 um, uh, when well, you got the saying of make, uh, make America great again. When, when, when was that? When you stored everybody and started to build and had their people in slavery, like when when was it was America great? Only when you was doing well was was America good for you, <laughs> not for nobody else. All right, so I lost my heart. It was so much hurt and pain to finally hear from for the outside world to finally hear what we assumed was happening there, and and this is the thing like you hear you you believe something to be going on but you can't, you know. Fully prove it. You know your suspicions, right? And and when you when you, when you talk about your suspicions and and you know all this kind of stuff, people all, all make you want to say, oh yeah, you know, it's just a, just a conspiracy theory that can't be true. Well, you come to find that a lot of this shit that people were speaking about is true. Only because it's not there publicly in the open yet, or not many people know, or you know whatever it is, doesn't make it not true. You know. And the people are going to have to find out, but you know, people have been finding out more and more stuff about this devil. All right. This is um said said who attended the school for two years in late nineteen sixties in the telephone interview we've seen in on Friday. The story is so unreal until it's real, right? That yesterday it became real for a lot of us in this community. He said, All right, it's just people are ignorant; they don't know. Cause like I said, Esau likes to bury shit. All right. Let's see what else we got here. So to our knowledge, these missing children are, are undocumented deaths. All right. Secret deaths. All right. <laughs> Not official deaths. 
this is for decades, McLeod, McLeod says he and former students like him would wonder what had happened to, to friends and classmates. Man just be going missing. You know? And these fucking Catholics, man. Because this is a Catholic school, right? Bunch of fucking nonces, right? <laughs> like, what do you think was happening? You already know. All right? And, you know, <laughs> you so-called Christians, man. You like to talk about the Hebrew Israelites, man. You need to talk about <laughs> your own people, man. <laughs> your own group. You need to go. You need to go down and uh, go down to the Vatican and speak to the Pope, man, and, and raise the place. Um, so it permanently closed. It closed permanently about a decade later, and and houses and the museum and the community facility were, were both cultural. Uh, or it's converted into, into a house and museum, okay? With both cultural and memorable, memorable events. Okay, they just, these are like cover up shit, man. In 2015, Canada's Truth and Reconciliation Commission released a report detailing the damaging legacy of the country's residential school system. Thousands of mostly indigenous children, you know, Israelites, were separated from their families and forced to attend residential schools. You can't say this, this, this fucking, this so called weapon ain't the fucking devil, man. This is what he does around the world, man. Okay, this is how he, you know, he's in power. Okay, but now he, you know, you know, he wants to act like he's the good guy, in 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 the story, man. No, he's the wicked. The scripture speaks about he's the wicked. The report details decades of physical, sexual, and emotional abuse suffered by children in government and church-run institutions. Come oh, on, this is all Esau, man. All right, but that's pretty much it. Right, so some pictures there. Oh shit. Um okay. This is an, in two thousand nineteen Trudeau said that he and his government accepted the harm inflicted on the indigenous people in Canada amounted to genocide. Okay, so you know he's just having to admit things now. You know, but nothing's gonna happen. You know, nothing's gonna be done about it. They all just tell you, <laughs> you just expect people to forget. So saying that at the time that the government would move forward to end this ongoing tragedy. So the abuse that happened to me was physical, yes, was sexual, yes, and in 1966, I was a person that didn't want to live anymore. Cause you got a bunch of fucked up Jake out there, man. You know, because the things that happen to them in, in, in these systems, man. Okay, because they're preyed upon. They're preyed upon by, by Esau and, and, and these cronies, man. He said he suffered trauma that to a prisoner of war. He said seven of us went at the same time, school same school that my mum and my dad went to. There wasn't an option, it was a requirement, it was the law. Okay, and unrighteous decrees, man. <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> but anyway, Let's just grab a couple of scriptures, man. And this is Obadiah chapter 1, verse 6. It says, How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? Right? All the secrets and the lies that this man has been keeping and making, right? They're all coming out. 
Okay, they're all coming out in the open, man. Okay, your 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 clean record, right, is blemished in 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 you know to hell, man. Okay, this squeaky clean record that you're acting like you got. Okay, it's being marred. Okay, you call yourself white because you believe yourself to be pure. But that that image is being destroyed right now, man. You are not pure, man. You're the blackest of all people, right? Because black just means void of light, means, you know, negative, right? Wicked, evil, right? That's that's what the, the, the color uh, denotes, right? That's why you called us black, okay? And called yourself white because you think you're better, you think you're good, you think you're righteous and pure. When you ain't, you're the most wicked on the planet, man. You're in the scripture, you're called the wicked, man. <laughs> You know, you, you, you're the furthest from white. Okay? Now, all this shit is being shoveled in your face now and, and you're having to deal with it. Whereas before, you know, you could just kind of throw it, you know, throw it back in the background. Okay, but people are, just start, are starting to see how evil and wicked you are, man. And it's been, you know, going on for a while now. Right? So when, when your destruction comes, man, people are going to understand why you was destroyed, man. Because your 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 um the tab is 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 high, man. All this wickedness, man, has got to be paid for. Alright, so the most sides of having these things being revealed to to shame you, man. And actually let me get that as well. Shameful spewing. In Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 16, it says, Thou art filled with, with shame for glory. Okay, you've, you, you know, you've been glorying, like, you know, you've, you've been doing all, the, all the, you've been doing the most, you know, all this success and, you know, all this kingdom that you, you, you've built or, you know, orchestrated. Okay, because you didn't physically build it. <laughs> you know, that's what you got slaves for, right? But, you know, this thing you created, okay, you want to glory in it, talk about, oh, yeah, with, you know, intellectual superiority and, and America, the greatest nation in the world, and blah 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 blah. Okay, that's all. Uh, that's that's all getting put into shame right now, man. Because because the means of how you got it, okay, through bloodshed, through robbery. You know. That is how you got all your shit. You stole it. Okay, you murdered for it. Okay, how how can you how can you glorify in that? How can anyone glorify in that? That you unjustly, you know, went around and killed a bunch of people over the earth and stole all their shit that don't belong to you. You know? Committing acts of genocide on the earth. Okay, destroying the, all the natives in, in the Americas, man. You stole the land from them. Okay, you go into these other countries and steal their resources because because you, cause you fuck them up. You know? They can't withstand you, you know? They're poor. You make them poor. You continue to keep them poor. And you just cipher, cipher, cipher out their resources, man. And make, make all kinds of money, man. And you just pay, pay, off, pay off some puppet leaders to, to keep, the, keep the status quo. You, you're just doing fucking wickedness on the earth, man. You're not doing nothing righteous. Okay, and that's why the most High is going to remove you out of power. All right, this is... Um, so thou art filled with shame for glory, drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cut of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy, on thy glory. Okay, and that's what's, that's what's happening now. Okay, people are, you know, uh, uh, finding out your shit, man, and talking shit about you. Pardon me. Uh, this is Zechariah chapter 11 verse 5. It says, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. So like I said, he's so like he, he acting like he can ride off into the sunset. <laughs> you know, he acting like you know he's gonna get away with all of this. That yeah, no one will know. We're gonna keep doing that thing, we're gonna become great, we're gonna become richer, more powerful. And these and these peasants ain't gonna be able to do shit about it. Well, you know, your PR your, your PR image is, is being um is being tarnished, man. Right? And then people are not looking up to you like that no more. Okay, you're being brought down because, like I said, man, people are discovering your wickedness. Okay, but you acting like you ain't done shit wrong. All right? 
It says, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them, they say, blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. Pity them not. Okay, you talk about this manifest destiny and all that kind of shit, man. So you think like, oh, this is just righteous. What we're doing is, is, is God's will. God never made it. <laughs> he never made it righteous just to murder people. And to steal shit that's not yours. Okay, it's not like you're the Israelites, <laughs> right? But, you know, the Most High has used you to, to, you know, bring judgment against the children of Israel. Okay, but it doesn't excuse you from the from the crime of, you know, your position. You had no right, you had no business, really, to do what you did. All right? So you're in the wrong at the end of the day, and you're going to be punished for it. Most are gonna hold you hold you guilty. Right? So we're gonna end it on this. This is Ezekiel 35. I'm stopping verse 2, right? It says, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it, and say unto it, Thus saith the Lord power. Behold, O Mount Seir, okay, which represents Esau. Right? I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. Most are gonna destroy you. You're gonna destroy the land of America and you're gonna you know destroy your kingdom. So I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of the calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Right? So, like I said, that you know, they've been shedding the blood of the Israelites. Okay, which you shouldn't have done, man. Call those those indigenous people, you know, because they're not going to call them what they are, which they get Gedites, you know, or the twelve tribes. All right, you shed their blood, man, and and that's a that's a <laughs> that's a heinous crime against the Lord, man. That's the Lord's children. All right, it says, therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. So if thou so if thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it him that passeth out, and him that returneth. And I will fill his mountains with with his slain men in the, in the, with his slain men in thy hills. And in thy valleys and on all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. I will make thee perpetual desolations and thy city shall not return. Okay, Esau's not going to return into power. He's not going to build no more cities after he's been destroyed. All right? That's not going to happen no more. He says, and you shall know that I am the Lord. All right? So, like I said, you're going to pay for, for all these, these wicked acts. You know that you've committed on the earth, man. Okay, and more and more stuff comes up comes up on you every day, pretty much. You know, just further showing the world how wicked you've been. Okay, I mean, and it just proves to us because we know already. <laughs> you know, just confirms to us of your wickedness, man. Because there's there's a bunch of shit that people don't know about. There's a bunch of shit that hasn't even come out. Things we may never know. You know, well, only we will know, but. You know, things right now. This, this, this place. Hey, what we, what we see is probably only ever the tip of the iceberg, man. With, with Esau's wickedness, and that's the scary thing about it, because he's done a lot. You know, and the, the most are gonna give him everything that he deserves. <laughs> Here, everything he get, he deserves, man. You know, and he, he praise you, how about Shimei Awashai? You know that he's gonna do that, man. Okay, hey, you know, hey Lord, hey Lord, hasten that day. You know, so um, you know, with that I'm gonna say shalom. I hope this is edifying. I catch you brothers and sisters on the next one, man. So the next time I say shalom.